Hi, and uh, welcome to the LB0 Fox India YouTube channel. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And today we're going to take a look at the Winlink settings for the Zygu X6100. And just for a quick mention, what you need uh, in order to do this is you need a copy of Winlink Express and Bora HF. So please make sure you download them first. So the first thing we're going to do is click the Settings tab here and uh, enter the Winlink Express setup. Here you enter your call sign, your Winlink password, uh, a password recovery email, uh, which is a non-Winlink email address. And I'd recommend you to do this because if you're like me, you're going to forget your password sooner or later. Then you enter your grid square. Uh, mine's Juliet Oscar 59 Romeo Bravo. You need a six character grid square for this. And there's also some contact information here, uh, which is uh, completely optional. So you decide if you want to enter that or not. When you're done with that, you'll click update, but I'm going to press cancel since I've already entered the fields. Your next step is to open a Vara HF Winlink session. Press open session here. And then your Vara window is going to open up or your Winlink session uh, window is going to open up to put it more correctly. For your radio settings, you press settings and radio setup. Then you get this window over here. Uh, there is no profile for the X6100, so you're going to enter ICOM705 with the ICOM address of 80, upper sideband digital. Your COM port is going to be the lowest COM port of your two COM ports that your uh, X6100 gives you. And you can use Windows Device Manager to figure out what COM port it is. Your baud rate for the X6100 is always going to be 19,200. And for PTT port, you choose CIV. If this is your first time, press update. If not, just press close as I'm going to do here. Then you need to open your VARA window here and uh, check your sound card settings. So press settings and sound card. The uh, sound device for the X6100 is going to be the USB audio device. And if you have several, it's going to be USB audio device 2, 3, 4, and so on. So just check your devices until you find the correct one. When you've selected the right device, press tune button and the radio should PTT. If it PTTs, you're all good. My radio did PTT, so we're all good. And I'm going to press close here. Go back to the Vara HF Winlink session window and uh, press the channel selection. Here you're going to get a list of the nodes that are close by and not so close by with a path reliability estimate and a path quality estimate. If you want to update this, I'd recommend you to do this over the internet because it's painstakingly slow to do it via radio. So uh, let's just do an update here. Now it's going to download the channel information from Winlink. And this might take a while. So just be patient. And remember, if you do it by radio, it's going to take a lot longer. And we're all done. So I'd recommend you to choose the node uh, with the best path reliability and the path quality, uh, which for my uh, case here is the LA1T node. So double click that. And press start. And the radio should try connecting to the node. And as you can see, there is 15 attempts to uh, try to connect to the node. Might take a couple of attempts depending on, uh, on your <laughs> propagation, on your radio power, and so on. And if you're using the free trial version of VARA, you get a Press continue to evaluate here. So what happens now in the Winlink session window is that you're going to get a little bit of information from the Winlink node. And then it's going to check for new messages and download this and perhaps upload some messages you have saved in your outbox. And depending on the message size, this may might also take a while. So just be patient while you're doing this. This is not broadband internet over fiber. And as you can see, there's one message. So we'll download that and uh, we'll see what it says. And you can see the progress here, how far it's gone with the download. 
And if you remember the dial-up modem days, this is pretty similar, only a lot slower. A good advice on Winlink is just keep it as short as possible while doing this, because it takes a while. Uh, I've sped it up here and cut some parts of the download off, just so you're aware of that. Then you'll get a summary here uh, saying that it's received the message and how long it took. And you're going to get a disconnect uh, message here with a summary of the session. So we're going to exit this window here now. And as you can see, we have one new message. Let's take a look at that. And that's from me, uh, just with a test message so you guys could see. And that's about it for the X6100 and Winlink. There are a lot more things you can do. And uh, my advice is just explore and see how you'll do. Uh, it isn't that hard. It's actually pretty easy once you get a hold of it. So uh, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.